Hi, this is Ann. Um, I'm just making a short addition to the video I just recorded. I was trying to show in that video how you could get the, the IDE to help you find, um, for example, a specific function inside your um, project when you have a lot of code. And that feature wasn't working for me. Um, and I, um, I couldn't figure out why. And I thought maybe it was like disabled for students and enabled for teachers, which seemed very fair. What I figured out as soon as I got my, my recording stopped is that for some reason, and this is my cat's um, REPL account, um, and sometimes he gets away from me, down here in settings, at some point, this setting, the code intelligence setting, got disabled. Okay. If I enable that, which I do believe is the default, I get two or three really good things happening. So I'm just going to, I've enabled that. I'm going to close that. And um, one thing is that this little button I was referring to, the format button um, shows up if you have code intelligence. So for example, if I had been coding along and been kind of messy with my code I was typing and wasn't paying very much attention to what my formatting looked like and blah, 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 the format button will clean all that up for me, okay? And just neaten everything up. This is sometimes known as a prettify button. The other thing that code intelligence gives you is that if I'm here, okay, notice that if I hover over that, it's going to show me the function prototype, which can be useful um, when you're typing in code from scratch. But the other thing is if I right click on it, see how it says jump to definition? If I click that, it'll take me right down to the actual implementation of that code. Now, I'd like to point out that that doesn't work. For example, if I'm up here in my, in my prototypes, I get the same hover over, okay? But, oh, and now it's working. Okay, I don't know. Yesterday that wasn't working from the prototypes. It was only working from implementation code. But when you have this much code, it's really nice to be able to get the IDE that if you want to, you know, you're going through main and you're deciding on what to work on next, and now you want to work on this table, then you can go straight to the code that would implement the table. So just a quick addendum.